G'day guys and welcome. This is a follow-up video to the kangaroo and shopping. This is some of the things I bought from the Hyperdome. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. G'day guys, how are you? Hope you're doing well. A bit rainy down under, well where I am in Queensland. So it's been raining for the past few days. Anyway, this is a this is um, the follow-on to the video where we went shopping together, kangaroo spotting. I should have named it kangaroo spotting instead of kangaroo hunting. Um, but yeah, I, that that just came to me now. <laughs> oh no! So yeah, so I want to show you the stuff I got because some on the way out, I went into another shop. And I really need my mate's advice on two products in particular. Okay. So, all right. So, I ended up getting, um, I have ordered a, like a, oh, this could be scary. Let me show you outside. <laughs> outside. There we go. So this is um, a mirror, it's magnifying mirror, two times, and I have ordered it from Timu, but obviously it hasn't arrived, but when I looked in it, I went, oh wow, I can actually see what I'm doing. So, I, I picked it up, um, and this was from Choice. So this was 250 Aussie. Or 163 or 4, depending on the exchange rate. Um, US. Did I say hi? My name's Jody. My channel is Jody Elsa's Pet. I keep forgetting to introduce myself. Okay, so um, I got a couple of these. These were also 250. Or a dollar sixty three US. Yeah, I'll do the Aussie price first, and then I'll do the US price. So it's just a little um, ceramic angel, and I've seen these exact same ones in the reject shop, which is another cheap shop. Well, she doesn't really have a face to speak of that I can see anyway. I think she's got like two little dots for eyes, and then. The back yeah and I don't think it's I'm not sure what it's made out of it's not resin but it's not ceramic um this little guy was the same price we we call these gonks not gnomes gnomes are very different to us down here um, gnomes are the ones with the red hats and you can see their faces a gonk is something like this where it's just no face and a big beard and that's a pineapple on his head I think yep yeah, that's a pineapple and then some flowers up there so oh and he's even holding a little birdie little bird okay it does get more exciting Dior they're the ones I need your help with okay um this is a perfume and it was five dollars I didn't know how much it was but when I went up to check out it was five dollars so 325. And I did smell it in um, the shop. And it was really, really nice. I'll open it so you can see the bottle just in case you didn't see me wheeling around the shops. And of course I forgot my... Something. Oh, here we go. I use this. So how you guys been? What have you guys been up to? Anything exciting? Anything going on in your lives? 
anything at all. Oh, by the way, if you leave me a if if you leave me a comment but you don't want me to like put it in my intro, then just say um, at the beginning of your comment like something like no name, no name. Trying to get it out without. There we go. Okay, so it's in a small bottle. How many mils is this? This is this is a hundred mil bottle, which is three point four fluid ounces. I can already smell it. So that's the advantage of going out and getting your perfumes is that you can smell them before you buy them. Ah, oh, that's nice. Here we go. There. Smell that. Very nice. I can't really um, explain. It's just a feminine perf. Feminine. Feminine. A feminine. Uh, I can't. Feminine. Feminine perf. Oh, the more I say it, the more confused I'm getting. I swear I know words. It's just when I start recording. It all goes out of my head for some reason. All right, so I'll put that to the side. Oh, I didn't put the lid back on it. Let's just chuck that in there. Oh, man. Go in there, you bugger. All right, I got a couple of... Because I'm on the diet. I love salt and vinegar chips. All right, so both of these were um, one ninety seven, which is about oh two bucks, say a dollar thirty. So yeah, I'll just round. I just rounded that up. This one is seventy three calories per cup. I'm I'm on it. I'm doing calorie based diet. Um, and a lady in the shop was saying how good they are, but then, like, my son's had a pack, and I haven't heard, he hasn't come back for any more, but they're veggie straws, so, let's see, 73 calories per cup, I wonder how many calories per serving, because that's not a cup, a cup is, like, huge, a cup is 250 mils. So these infusions are light, crunchy, satisfying snack made right here in Australia from wholesome ingredients infused with mouth-watering herbs and spices. These veggie straws are our signature dish, a delicious blend of potato, spinach, beetroot, tomato seasoned with perfect salt and herbs. And there's sour cream and herb. I didn't notice that. I really, I'm not really keen on sour cream at all. All right, so average quantity per serving is 73 calories. So 73 calories in those. And let's see. Uh, if they're not good, then. So that's, I find it hard to believe that that's a cup. All right, so they're crispy. They're hollow. Huh. Okay, they've got a crunch of a chip. And, mmm. They taste like cardboard with a bit of salt on them. Crunchy cardboard with a bit of salt. All right. Now the salt and vinegar. Harvest snaps. Now, when I was in the car, Jenny said that it's actually a pea in there. But, so, um, so it says less than 100 calories a serve. 
but it's only got 3.5 stars on that health star rating and this one's the same so they're probably just as bad as each other oh this isn't going to be good fat per 100 grams is 20.8 grams all right servings per package is four serving size is 16.25 grams all right so holy moly per 100 grams well this is 65 grams I'm trying to find average quantity per serve. Okay, 75 calories. But 100 grams is 459. All right, 459. Let's just get to the... Is this going to be my treat, salt and vinegar chip? Because I love my salt and vinegar chips. But I haven't had any for months. And of course, it doesn't want to open it doesn't want me to have them. I'm just interested to see what. Okay. Oh, they are peas by the look of it. Let me get a bigger one. <laughs> Says every fat person in the world. So, it's got a green hue, even though it's not sort of coming up on the camera. But it's sort of green. Oh, come on. Yes, it's got a bit of salt and vinegar. Skinny ain't worth this shit. No, nah, that's the saddest salt and vinegar chip. Chip. As I stuff it in my mouth. That's the saddest salt and vinegar chip I've ever had. In my life. Oh, guys, I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping against hope. It's, it's not, it has a slight bit of salt and vinegar, a slight tang, but not much. Not like the Smith. Not like, oh, the Smith salt and vinegar chips. All right, I'm not going to talk about it because I'll, I'll just want to eat them. I just want to eat them all. Okay, so you saw me scurrying around trying to find... Two of these, I could only find one, $5.99 or $3.90 US. Um, I dyed my hair, I don't know, about a week ago. And I now need two of these to do it. One didn't, one just, one didn't do all my hair. So I thought, oh, because I usually pay about 10 bucks, which is six fifty. Um... It says it's number one in the US. But I always go for the dark brown. All right. Now, these are the things that we went there for. These were $2.50 each, which is about $1.63 US. And I don't know how to explain these petals. They're a soft sort of silicone, I think. And it's just a claw clip if I can and it's quite a big one I've got one in my hair now but I think my hair's covering it because it went up it went too high anyway I'll sort of turn and I don't know if you can see that I'll see but yeah they're very pretty And they keep your hair up. And so I got the, this pink one. I got the purple one. And the yellow one. And they have a little stone in the, in the middle. And yeah. That's why we went there. Just for these. Because Jenny wears these in her hair. And I thought, oh, they're wonderful. And then I got a whole heap of... Um, 
that's a lipstick but that's for Dollar Tree challenge so I got a whole bunch of little things miniatures and they're, they're a dollar each which is about 65 US cents which now that I'm looking at it it's such a rip off um, yeah there's some they're they're for a dollar tree challenge so not the dragons but the other ones so that was a bit of a, a tease, but don't worry, there's more. Now, they didn't give me this bag. I bought, I bought this bag just to have one, TJ Maxx. So these are on special for $12.99, and I don't know what. I'll have to put it up here, the US price, because I haven't propped price this one and it's retinol pro plus 0.5 percent power serum because what i've been noticing is that the stuff i've been getting from oh my goodness it's in such a tiny bottle it's neutrogena retinol pro plus power serum i thought it was going to be bigger I guess that's just the way of the world. So I've got a pump top up here, but where's it meant to pump out of? Am I meant to take, like, pump? What's the point of this? Does it come out the top? Or is it a, oh, here we go. So it must be, ah, oh, it's a dropper. So I'm just going to drop a little bit here. Uh, this is not, not going to work, so I'll put it on my finger. It's very watery. Hang on, I've got to come across this way. So, yeah, it's really thin. Let's see if I can get rid of my turkey neck. It doesn't really have a smell. And then there were these lashes for $7.99. And I was kicking myself because um, I just, I remembered that I'd forgotten that I'd ordered a whole heap of different style of lashes from Timu. And yeah, I didn't pay anywhere near this amount. So... There's three different styles, and then it comes with this little glue thing down here, which is intriguing to me. They don't have a clear band, I don't think. But I have realised that lashes can, if nothing else, and lashes can really, like, if nothing else, stick lashes on. And, like, I've stuck some lashes on and put some concealer under my eyes. Look how tiny this little glue is. Lash glue. I guess for... Oh, tiny little... All right, so I'll probably end up... I did try glue on lashes today, but um, I don't know. I must have put the glue in the wrong place, so they weren't, like, sticking properly. So these are magnetic ones, and even these are stuffed because this one's a different position than this one. <sighs> we'll get there. I know I'm not the only one that has trouble with lashes. I can't be. Okay, so, oh, ah, I got this, um... This was $9.99, which is $6.50. Um, 
it's just a flannelette shirt perfect for days like this but this is for my son he lives with me okay all right so on the way out now the hyperdomes are fairly um upscale um it's not a mall we don't call them malls i don't know what you call it it's just a a huge shopping center with everything from coles where you get your groceries you got kmart um you got woolworths and big w and every other shop in between but this shop was a charity shop and the reason i brought up the um the sort of what sort of center it was is because it it's not in a you have to pay a sort of a high a high rent in these type of places all right so so it was an upscale charity shop all right so now i don't know what brand this bag is this was ten dollars and it's just a big like oh here we go it's a indie c i n d y c lots of different pockets i haven't actually had a good look at it this was did i say it was ten dollars which is 650 us it's got another pocket on the side and it's I don't know whether it's leather or not. It feels like it is. <laughs> Here we go. 100% PVC made in China. So it's just a nice big bag. With, and it's even got some pockets at the back. Um, so, yeah, I didn't hide stuff in there. I'd say that's like... For feminine products like tampons and stuff you could stick them in there then on the other side so but this isn't the one oh geez there's zips everywhere it's really big and it's, it's not got anywhere i suppose i could turn it inside out and just show it to you that way that would be easier so this is the inside so the inside has got a zippered pocket and then on the other side it's got some little slip pockets all right so i'm changing out my bag and i'm going to be using this one all right so this is the one that i want to talk to you about all right so There's actually a wallet in here to match. And it was $20. And so that would be six fifty, so $13 US for these. And it says Dior on it, okay? Now, I didn't actually think it was Dior when I bought it. But then when I came home, I did an image search and like, it's, it's, anyway, Dior came up and it's their Rasta series and I don't know whether it's just a really good knockoff or if this thing is really worth 600 and that's on, like, on, this one, this purse if that was real, that's worth fourteen hundred Australian dollars. So help, have I struck it rich, or like, <laughs> do I give it away <laughs> to someone who would enjoy it? Because to me, I don't really like it. I think like it's quite ugly. But anyway, <laughs> so it's got this back thing in here, and I'm gonna really try and. I need a torch so you can see because I don't know 
I don't know. Because I've seen some really, like, I, I'm like, you paid how much for that purse? Second hand? Like, honestly can't believe how much. Um, okay, so well, that's not really helping. So that's, and you can see a bit of a string hanging down there. And this is the back part of it. And it's got a, it's got the pattern through it, the Dior pattern through it. Like it's got the, the Dior pattern like on the back. And it's even got these little um, pouches. And then on this side... The pouches can clip on here, which seems to be how this bag works. Now, we call this a bag, and what a, and that a purse. So anyway, it's really quite like stiff. So inside, I'm trying to like. It doesn't look like it's been used. Let me get the trusty light. I'll just stick the light in there. Go on, do your job, because I want you to see the label. Oh, that's the worst idea ever. So it's got this... Oh, it's got the label. Like, this bit is, like, what... Like, doesn't want to, like, flop back. So it's got a red label... And it says, um, Christian Dior Paris, made in Italy. And then it's got, I think it says R-U-O-O-I-O. -O -O, but I could be spelling that wrong. And that's in a red, that's in a red um, tag there. And, like, even the little zipper thing here is got the initials Christian Dior. It's really sewn well. The lining um, says has got the same pattern, the Christian Dior pattern in it. So that's it there. So... Um, and it's got the, it's got the ore on the side. So, yeah, I, when I looked at it, all the colouring seemed the same, like it, the red, the red stitching, um, it all sort of, it all looked like, and I think it's, it, I forget the price, but it was over it's over six hundred dollars. And that was on a second hand site like Poshmark or something like that. I'm just trying to shut it now. So yeah. That's the Dior bag. Now this is apparently worth more than the bag. This is worth fourteen hundred. I don't get it, but anyway, each to their own. This will be a bit easier to show. So, like, it's got... See, but the thing is, this looks... You'd think it would be, like, true leather, whereas this one doesn't... This looks... Even though it's got this card in it, and it looks right, um, wouldn't they put leather through it? Um, and down here it says Christian Dior Paris. So, I mean, they really, like, the knockoffs are, um, are amazing. And in, in there it's still got that same lining. And so in there it's got the same lining. Um... Yeah, so in every part that you can open, it's got that lining. Then in the purse part, we'll see. 
in the little coin purse. So yeah, this is, but this feels, wouldn't it be leather? Whereas that doesn't feel like leather. So I don't know what this card in there is, whether they'd even bother putting that in there. Or is... So it's uh, the area um, around the shops is a very affluent area. So the card comes out. And it has the Christian, it has the same um, pattern fabric there. So, yeah, I, I really, like, before I give these away, <laughs> um, let me know. I, 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 need, I do need help on it because I've got no idea. So, if you can, if you, I'm going to hold them up and you can, see it looks a bit darker on here. You can stop it, stop the video and do a Google image search and let me know. Maybe you got any of, any, I was going to say any of you bag ladies out there, but that's not right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Any of you bag ladies out there know what this is? <laughs> if that's real. Any bag ladies out there know if this is real? Like, I just don't know. I just don't know. That goes down there. So, yeah, pause the video now. Thank you. So, you did your Google image search? You're doing some sleuthing for me? Thanks, guys. All right, so uh, apart from a few little things that I didn't show you because they're an idolatry um, challenge, um, that was it. But, yeah, my heart nearly stopped when that price came up when I did. <laughs> and, like, I excitedly, like, um, like, I think, I don't know if I was on the phone with my sons or... Yeah, I think I was. And I was telling them, and they were on their way up to do a marathon and couldn't have given less of a F. And they don't know anything about bags. But I know I know one of their girlfriends does know things about bags. And that's originally who I bought these for. But then I thought if they're worth that much if they're worth a lot of money <laughs> Isn't that selfish? If they're worth a lot of money, I don't want to give them away. I want to sell them. That's, but originally I bought them for her. But if they're real, I don't want to give it over two grand. <laughs> Not unless she's married and giving me a grandchild. Then she can have the real stuff. <laughs> um, thankfully, the son um, doesn't watch this. Only one of my sons does. Thank you, James. He's a big support to me. All right, guys, that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I really just forget each time what button there's three. And it's always eeny, meeny, miny, moe. <laughs> <laughs>